Hi friends, welcome back to All on Unlaw. Today I'm going to discuss briefly about uh, neonatal seizure mimics. Uh, these are very important for your clinical examination and for even for your um, theory uh, board examinations. So just try to know which is common, which are the common seizures in the neonates and which are fatal seizures in uh, neonate. That's very important. That's why I made a beautiful table for you. Just you can read this one and you will get an idea. Before starting this, I would request you to subscribe to our channel that is All on Law and please tell your friends to subscribe. We need your subscriptions badly. Please subscribe. Okay, let me start with this a seizure mimic and the clinical manifestation. This will help you to differentiate from other febrile seizures, other seizures. Okay, so let me start with the jitteriness. The jitteriness, the clinical manifestation, spontaneous or provoked by stimulus, flexion or extension are equivalent, uh, equivalent, uh, diminished by repositioning, abolished with containment. So look at this feature jitteriness. If this it is diminished by the repositioning, if you change the position of the neonate. If you take it, okay, so then uh, the jitteriness will subside. Benign neonatal sleep myoclonus. This is also one of the seizure mimic. Uh, it, uh, the clinical manifestation of this disease, uh, sorry, this, this seizure is bilateral or unilateral, uh, synchronous or asynchronous, uh, occurs during sleep, no, not due to a stimulus. So just remember it occurs during the sleep, okay, not due to the stimulus. These are very important. A stimulus evoked myoclonus, focal or generalized uh, severe CNS di uh, dysfunction, EEG may show cortical spike wave discharge. Very important is a cortical spike wave discharge because in examination for like USMLE or MRCPCH examination, other uh, Australian or Canadian examination, they will give you the e EEG finding for this. Okay, uh, EEG finding for this. This is very important. Um, Okay, let's move on to the next thing that is a stiff man syndrome that is a hypercaplexia. Uh, there you can see a generalized stiffness, autosomal dominant or recessive form, excessive startle response to unexpected stimuli and excessive stiffness stiffness following a startle response. Benzodiazepines reduce symptoms. So these are the important things what I discuss about the neonatal seizure mimics. Uh, okay, thank you so much for watching my video. Go through this once again. If you like the video, share this video with your friends so that they can come to know about our channel. Thank you so much for watching our video. Take care.